In this video, we're going to walk through how to enroll an application in Teleport. And we'll be working through this getting started guide. So if you go to goteleport.com slash docs, go down to the application access part and choose getting started. You can follow along with me. So like I said, this tutorial is going to demonstrate how to configure secure access to an application through Teleport. And for this tutorial, we're going to be using Grafana because it's straightforward to install and we can run it in a Docker container with no additional configuration required. So here's what we're going to do today. First, we're going to check the prerequisites. Second, we'll launch Grafana in a Docker container. Third, we'll generate a short-lived invitation token so that this application can join the Teleport cluster. Fourth, we'll install and configure Teleport on the application host. And finally, we'll set up a user to verify access to the application. So if we look at this diagram, we have Grafana being protected by Teleport. I'm going to install that today in an Amazon EC2 instance that's running Docker. And we'll also install the Teleport app service agent on that same EC2 instance. And that's going to talk to our Teleport cluster or a Teleport proxy. And that's the piece that the users will be interacting with. And one of the big use cases here is that you can put your application behind a private network, then register it with the Teleport proxy, and your users can use the proxy to access that application behind a private network. So let's begin with the prerequisites. First, you'll need a running Teleport cluster. If you haven't set that up, be sure to check out our Getting Started Guide to get that set up so you can follow it step by step. Or if you prefer a video, you can check out the Set Up Teleport Open Source in 5 Minutes video at the top of that page. But be sure to follow this if you don't have a Teleport cluster running. Next, make sure you can connect to Teleport. Make sure you can log in using TSH and that you can run tcuttle status. Then you'll need a host where you can run the Teleport application service. That's going to be our EC2 instance that I mentioned earlier. And then you'll need a Docker container or a Kubernetes cluster to launch Grafana. I'm going to launch that on that same EC2 instance that's running Docker. But feel free to have Docker set up somewhere else or Kubernetes. Or if you already have an application out there that you want to protect, you can use that. Now there's one more thing I want to talk about before we get started, and that's subdomains. So when you set up a Teleport cluster, you'll see here a section called configure DNS. And when you set up Teleport, it asks you to set up two DNS A records, each pointing to the IP address of your Linux host that's running your Teleport cluster. And that domain will be the public address of your Teleport cluster, but then you're asked to set up a second wildcard domain. So star dot whatever your domain is. And that's because Teleport issues a subdomain of your cluster's domain name to each application. So if I register an application like Grafana, it would be at grafana.teleport.example.com. If I registered Jenkins, Within Teleport, I can make it jenkins.teleport.example.com. So make sure you have these two A records set up before doing this tutorial. All right, and with that out of the way, let's get started. So step one of five, generate a token. So an invitation token is required to authorize a Teleport application service instance to join the cluster. So here we're gonna generate a short-lived token and we're gonna run this command on our Teleport cluster. So my cluster is also running in an EC2 instance. So I'm going to copy this and I'll open up the terminal to my teleport cluster and I'm going to run this command. So let me paste this here and I need to run this as sudo. So let's put sudo and then I'll do the full path to tcuttle, which is user local bin. And if you don't know the full path, you can just run the which tcuttle command and it'll give you that path. So let's hit enter and here is our invite token. So the invite token is this. And if we go back to the documentation, it tells us that we should save it somewhere on our Teleport application service host. So I'll grab this token here, just copy it. And I'm gonna go over to my EC2 instance that will run my Teleport application service. And I'll do a sudo vi, and I'll create the file in a folder called temp, and I'll call it token. The file will be called token. Paste that in, and save the file. And if you're wondering why I chose that folder, if you scroll down a bit, you'll see that the configure command that will run has the token at the temp token location. Of course, you can put that somewhere else, but I'm just following the documentation here. So we've generated the token, we've saved that on our Teleport application service host, and we can move on to step two. And in step two, we're gonna start Grafana in a Docker container. Again, that's gonna be my EC2 instance. I have Docker running there. So I'm gonna copy this command and launch Grafana. So paste and run. And to test that that container's running, we can do a docker container ls. And there's our container. It's been up for 21 seconds. Looks good. Now in the documentation, you can also choose to deploy that in a Kubernetes cluster. It's your choice. And then next, we need to edit the grafana.ini file to use the address for a teleport cluster. 
So if you were to open that file, you would change domain to where a teleport cluster is. But here we have a convenient command to do it for us, this sed command. So let's copy this and we need to update this domain to our domain. So I'm gonna open that in VS Code and just change this here to testing teleport dot asteroid dot earth, which is the domain of my teleport cluster. So copy this, go to my application host and run it. Updated. And with that, we can move on to step three. Step three is to install and configure teleport. So we wanna install teleport and configure it on our application host. So I'm gonna choose the open source version. That's what I'm running and copy this command. Go back to my application host and paste that in to run teleport. Great, teleport version 13.3.2 is installed successfully. Next, we'll need to configure it. So this command here will create a configuration file with the information we need to register this application with our teleport cluster. So copy that. I'm gonna paste it also in my VS Code to update it. So we need to update the URL here to testing teleport.asteroid.earth. Make sure you change that to your URL. And since I'm using sudo, I'll also want to include the full path which like I said earlier, you can get with which teleport. There's the full path. So I just want to include that also. So user local bin. So let's go ahead and copy this. Oops, there looks to be a space here. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste it on our application host to configure teleport for Grafana. Hit return. And a teleport configuration file has been created at etsy slash teleport.yaml. That's where a configuration file is. And that's where this information that we input has been stored. So Grafana should now be registered with our teleport cluster. But there's one more step. If we go back to the documentation, we have to enable teleport and start teleport. So copy this and run it to get teleport started. And with that step, we should be able to go to our teleport cluster, which mine is at testing-teleport.asteroid.earth. And if we go to applications, we should now see Grafana. There it is. And that moves us on to step four. So we're done with step three. Step four is to create a user. So now that you've enrolled the application as a resource protected by teleport, you can create a user to test access to it. So if you don't have a user yet, or you want to create a new one, just copy this command, go back to your teleport cluster terminal, and let's do sudo user local bin and then paste in that command. And make sure you change the name to whoever you want. So let's put Bob and just hit enter. And here's the sign up link. So you can click this link, set up a password and have your user. I'm gonna use the user that I'm already logged in with. So that's step four. Step five is to access the application. Now you have two ways to do this. So if you find your applications in Teleport, you can just click launch, it's that easy. Or you can just go to the subdomain that it created. For us, that's grafana.testing-teleport.asteroid.earth. And just to show you this, when we configure teleport, we chose the app name to be Grafana. So that's gonna be added onto our domain. We could have put Grafana dev or Grafana prod, whatever we want, and teleport will create that subdomain. And to log into Grafana the first time, it's a username of admin and password of admin by default. So click login. And that allows us to create a new password. So I'll punch in something here and submit. And we get this message that says origin not allowed. Now this is pretty common with Grafana and it's solved by passing in a couple of headers. So if you go back to your docs and instead of going to getting started, go down to securing internal applications in web app access, and then scroll down to the headers pass through section. So you can configure application access to inject additional headers in the requests forwarded to a web application. So again, if I try to do this, it says origin not allowed. So there's some kind of origin issue here and we can fix it by injecting a couple of headers. So let's go to our application terminal and open up the configuration file. So sudo vi etsy teleport.yaml. So this is our configuration file. And you'll see down here at the bottom, we have our app service and we have Grafana registered under the app service. So right under the app, we want to add, let's go back to the documentation. Rewrite and then headers. So rewrite, headers, and we're gonna add two headers. First will be the host. So host, and it's grafana.testing-teleport.asteroid.earth. 
So here, put the URL to your application as the host. And then next, you want to add an origin. So origin, and it's going to be the same thing, but we're going to put HTTPS. Grafana.testingTeleport.Asteroid.Earth. And these, of course, need to have dashes in front of them as it's a list. And that should be it. Let's save this file. Let's restart Teleport. and try it out now. So let me refresh the page. And it looks like I'm logged in now. So I guess it just accepted my default password. So I would of course change that now. Let's try it out. Change password. Now let's log out and log back in. And everything is fine. And so the Grafana application is being protected by Teleport. So you could put Grafana or any application into a private network, and then your engineers or whoever has the right roles can access this application. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it below, or you can go to documentation and teleport Slack channel to join our community Slack. There, we're always happy to help you out with any questions you have. Thank you for watching.